Hi Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix update for Windows 10 version 22H2, KB5030300, which is currently being tested in the release preview channel, which means it should be rolling out shortly. And um, the, re the release preview channel is basically your final stages of testing. So I would suggest that the update will start rolling out on the 26th of September next week, Tuesday because Microsoft has previously announced that optional updates will now start rolling out in the fourth week of every month. Now, there are three so-called three new features listed um, with this update that Microsoft is um, calling um, new features and improvements. Um, not major, but nonetheless, just to go through these um, so-called new features. Uh, the first is actually rolling out across the board for all the different, the different versions of Windows for our next optional bug fix. And um, the update completes the work to comply with the GB18030-2022 requirements. Uh, it removes and remaps characters for Microsoft's Wubi input and Microsoft Pinion U-Mode input. So that's the first of three. Then the second um, brings back an improved search box experience on the taskbar. Um, so Microsoft says if you have a top, a bottom, or regular or small taskbar, icons or um, buttons activated on your taskbar, you should see the search box appear, where for some that was not the case. So that's also listed as a new improvement and a new feature. And the uh, third new feature is regarding the taskbar widget. So the update adds animations to a few icons on the news and interests, uh, the taskbar button. Microsoft says that these animations will occur when a new announcement appears on the news and interests a taskbar button and if you hover over or click the icon while the announcement is on the taskbar and that's very similar to what's happening over in windows 11 so that's a little bit of windows 11 coming from the widget board now making its way into the news and interests with those animations to a few icons on the news and interests taskbar button now those are the so-called new features and the key highlights now this is a bug fix update that does include numerous bug fixes for windows 10 so if you do want to stick around um, i'm just going to go through these as quick as possible the update supports daylight saving time changes in greenland uh, it addresses an issue that affects microsoft excel apparently it stopped responding when you try to share a file as a PDF in Microsoft Outlook. It addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Print to PDF. And we actually have two uh, printer and printing fixes rolling out. Uh, it uses the metadata for, for the name you sign in with as the author of a printed PDF. It should use the display name instead. So that's the fix. The problem was it was using that metadata for the name you sign in with as the author of a printed PDF. And the fix is it should display the name instead now. So... That's the first of two, and the update addresses an issue that affects some USB printers. Microsoft Defender apparently um, stopped them from printing. Then the update addresses an issue that affects device health. Some devices cannot attest to their security health, which I think is an important fix. And if you are using the touch keyboard, um, there is an update that addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard. Sometimes it does not open. So that's a, quite an important accessibility bug fix rolling out. And the update addresses an issue that affects toast notifications. They might not appear when you use UR automation tools to read them. And the update addresses an issue that might cause a user mode memory leak. So this is an important fix, a performance fix. It might occur when you call copy file or move file. So if you are copying or moving files, that could use excess amounts of memory. And that bug fix um, should be addressed now with this next optional update. And then the final one, just to mention for the purpose of this video, the update addresses an issue that might make Windows stop responding. This might occur if you use Microsoft OneDrive files with, that are compressed by NTFS. So that's just a couple of the key highlights. There are a good couple of other bug fixes, but those are just um, pulled out um, in case you would be interested. But as mentioned, that's KB5030300, which will be rolling out soon for Windows 10 version 22H2, which over and above numerous bug fixes does include three minor new features. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.